On Saturday, Tory MP Neil Parrish quit his job. This is after it was revealed he'd watched pornography on his phone in the Commons chamber twice. Although he claims to have accidentally visited the graphic website while looking for tractors, he admitted to then deliberately returning to the site in what he calls a moment of madness. What do you make of it all, Gloria? It's been rumbling on for a few days. Um, this was in the chamber. I know. See, in a way, you know, you couldn't write it, could you, that he was looking for a dominated tractor. And guess what turned up? I mean, you really, if you were doing one of your books or your plays, you probably wouldn't write it. Um, I'm generalising now, but I just think it's shocking that in Parliament, when people are supposed to be listening carefully, debating serious issues, et cetera, et cetera, that anybody's sitting with a phone going like this for anything, never mind porn. Mm. And, and therefore, I don't get it. And I also, and I'm generalising it again, I'm not talking about Neil Parrish in particular, but I find it really hard to understand, as a woman, if I don't understand how men will risk their lives, their esteem, the jobs that they've worked all their lives for, their families, the shame of it sometimes, the embarrassment of it. I don't get that. Why a sneaky look at something of porn, particularly in Westminster, how it's that fact, would I think compensate. It was the fact, Jane, it was in the workplace. I mean, mm. you just go, it must be, yeah. you know, it must be pretty desperate <laughs> to not well, be able to yeah. wait yeah, till your lunch one, break it, or wait yeah. till you get home. Mm. Or... Well, exactly, because I always think, you know, when I... When we've discussed this kind of thing before in the past, I've always thought about it as something that people do in their downtime, if you like, or, or at private. night, yeah, and in private and at home. Because I come from a generation where we wouldn't even read a Jackie Collins novel on the bus because we'd think, <laughs> oh no, people might think the wrong thing, so it'd be like hidden inside, you know, yeah. some brown paper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <More> <laughs> um, so the fact that people are openly looking at stuff like this, maybe be sitting on the tube or the train or indeed at work, I find absolutely baffling. Well, I was really shocked this morning that one of our young producers when I said, do, like, do people really do that? She was like, oh, yeah, several times. I was like, really? Mm. She said, yeah, just recently. She was on a bus and the guy next to her was looking at very graphic porn. But I think and very in that situation, that would be him doing a power play. Yes. Do it, I think he was deliberately trying to intimidate a young woman sitting next that, to him. Really? I you do, because I just it? think, why else... You know, if you're, when you're on a bus, you're literally right next to somebody yeah. and you've mm. got your... Of course they're going to see what's on your... Well, she said but, he had the sound. It, well, he wasn't, like, surreptitiously looking at it. it you know, it was very visible, yeah, no. the sound was on. And she said, you know, she found it very intimidating and said, you know, you, would you say anything? I, I'm not sure I would say anything in that situation because I'd be too scared to say... Mm. I think, what, this well, because guy... also you would think, what's the backup? Yeah. Because where there is no... If it was illegal... You've got backup. You know that if you go and make a complaint, there's a due process. But if it's not illegal to watch it in public, which it isn't, but then I, everyone's then just going to go. We can't do anything. Should about it be made illegal? Though. Though, though, then it is the policing of something like that. I mean, let's say you had 50 people on a train who happened to be doing it for one reason or another. How are you ever going to police that or or work your way through if it's against the law? But I think if law? it's made illegal, it would. Mm automatically but filter out a lot of people who do it. Yeah, but I stretched. think that if you, you know, it's like with everything else, if you start banning things, then people are just going to go somewhere else to watch that and it's just going to move it a bit more underground. What about if I think people are suggesting pay, that I it has to yeah, be pay-only sites? Yes, absolutely. And I think it should be that anyway because you've got children, you know, a lot of people got children at home and they're, and they're watching you leave the computer, go for a little walk and, about and, and the child's there left watching well, We were looking it. at some yeah, oh, oh, statistics, sorry, no, just sorry. talking about children. Mm. Um, more than half, more than half of 11 to 13-year-olds have said that they have seen pornography. That's how easily... Yeah. It Accessible it is to them, yeah. which I think is a worry. I think if that's no, where they're that's getting their worry. sexual education, mm. um, you know, and some of the things that they're going to see, you can't unsee that stuff, can but you? But you were no. talking about paying, paying for porn. I mean, very quickly, I'll sub this. A very beautiful girl whom I know in the medical industry, and I just happened to say to her, how are you? Terrible. Turns out, and I'm subbing this story down, she works really hard and she had saved up £15,000 uh, towards her children's education, and she discovered that her husband was doing cyber sex, not only downstairs at home while she was upstairs in the room, but also at work. And it turned out that there was a whole party of these lads at lunchtime. And she took, obviously, she took terrible umbrage, not only to the cyber sex, 
while she was alone upstairs, but also that all her money that she'd worked really hard for had just gone. In but that, such that's a... in the context but... that there is free porn. Yeah. That's yeah. I was to say, that's if, it was, niche. if they had to pay for it, Jane, do you think maybe that would cut yeah, the amount absolutely. of... Yeah, well, absolutely. He spent 15000 on it. No, so but, but, that's, yeah. but that's what I mean. But that's a niche yeah. thing, yeah. isn't it? He, yeah. he could have accessed it for free. Well, right, yeah. OK. So mm. he's obviously got well, a big is, problem. It is a big topic of conversation at the moment, obviously following, uh, you know, the story about Neil Parrish. I'm sure that we will return to this.